Good morning. Today we're here at Ollie's Bargain Outlet. We're going to go in and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. This is we come into Ollie's here. Looks like they are getting ready for Christmas. Also, today is Halloween, so happy Halloween, everybody. If you need wrapping paper, this is the place to come. They have a ton of it. Four rolls here for three ninety or yeah, three ninety nine. They got the bigger ones here for $2.99. Good deals on this kind of stuff. So I remember the last time we came to Ollie's. It's been a while. It's been months. We usually come here around the holidays, uh, do a little bit of Christmas shopping, try and find some good deals. Uh, it always seems hit or miss here at Ollie's anymore. Uh, they do have the Musselman's uh, pie fillings, which we got some great comments on the last time we were here. Good to see they're still getting them in. They got the blueberry. Somebody was asking about this one. Um, yes, they did have it at Meyer. That's where you were asking for it. $2.99 for these. And like I said, we've got a lot of good comments on these. So if you have an Ollie's, first of all, let us know if, if you shop at Ollie's. Let us know down in the comments and what some of your favorite products you like to buy here are. Another reason we like to come to Ollie's is they always have a lot of spices. Now, it's not like it used to be where it would go all the way down to the end of the aisle there. But they do have a lot of different choices here. So definitely some good size spices for the price here. Uh, 99 cents for this. Imitation bacon bits. <laughs> Got some parsley flakes there. Big sizes here too. Not like your regular grocery store where they'll be really small for about the same price. Let's see, they got this uh, adobo. See, like all different kinds here. This is 99 cents here. It's about twice the size of one you get at Kroger. Um, let's see, you got some cayenne pepper here. I know we've been getting a lot of comments on spices lately. This one's $3.99, so this is the Spice Supreme. Um, it is a big thing of it here. $3.99 might be a little pricey here for Ollie's, but I uh, got some basil here. $1.49 for that. It's a pretty big thing of it. Great prices on Ocean Spray here. $2.29 for these. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so the orange juice is two twenty nine. dollars The cranberry and Concord grape is two seventy nine. dollars Still better than three forty nine, dollars and what most of it is in the grocery stores. Some apple juice there. Got some Parmesan cheese. That's a big thing of Parmesan cheese. Five five sixty nine dollars for that. Got some pickles here. We're always getting comments on pickles. I gotta say, it is a, it, it seems like it's a lot lower than what it used to be a couple years ago. We came months ago and it was probably lower than this, but it still seems like they are struggling to get a lot of products pretty much like everywhere right now. So the last time I bought a case of this water here, it was $2.49. Now, mind you, it was six or seven months ago. $3.29 now. It's pretty high for Ollie's. One thing about Ollie's is you do really have to look around. Um, ours used to be very organized, and then somewhere along the line, they kind of just threw stuff on here. It does look like some of this stuff, it's just, it's so hit or miss here anymore. I just kind of wanted to come here, look around. It's been a long time since we've been here. See if we can find any good options here. Here's that Southgate Chili, 89 cents a can. We have had no good comments on, on this at all. They used to sell us at Dollar Tree. I haven't seen it at Dollar Tree in a while. 89 cents here. Uh, the only one they got is mushroom soup. Um, let's see. Oh, they got a can of Gresso for $1.29. Let's see what the... Uh, December 20th, 2022. So it is about to hit that best if used by date. Uh, Lord Chesterfield seasoned butter beans. I think I've ever seen these before. 89 cents a can. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you like some of this stuff, got some chicken broth here, $1.79. Seems a little pricey for Ollie's. I think that'd be right around a dollar. Oh, they do have some more Progresso down here, though. But again, guys, check the expiration dates because that is December of 2022. So you got a couple months. And again, I know some people like me to say that it's best if used by date. Use your own judgment on that. Um, you know, if it's best if used by December 2022, well, it's close to that date. So use your best judgment. Um, I did want to show they got some Prego sauce here. Been a lot of comments on this lately. $2.19. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's about what it is everywhere. I don't feel like that's a great deal. Maybe a little less. They got the little hams here. This is the celebrity one we got some comments on. Haven't been able to find this anywhere. So again, Ollie's is another option. 
three dollars and 39 cents usually now this is a smaller one this is 12 ounces usually these are about 16 ounces 339 uh the libby's one we saw the other day which we got good comments on was five dollars so a little cheaper than that but i think it's a little smaller now we've gotten a couple comments over the last month or so of sardines they do have sardines here for a dollar 19 um again check all those dates guys i mean any anywhere not just here check check all the expiration dates everywhere you go here's something interesting here they have yellow fin tuna in one of these packets uh dollar 29 for yellow fin tuna doesn't sound like too bad of a price we've been seeing the star kissed creations go up to a dollar 89 at kroger so i don't know that might be worth trying so a lot less stuff in here than i originally thought um they are missing a lot of things or they're just not getting it in uh ollie's for, for food especially is kind of a second hand store pretty much for everything they do have the boil in bag ben's original ready rice here uh the long grain white rice dollar 49 a box 15.8 ounces that's a good deal i remember when these white house apple sauces were a dollar 25 for six of them looks like they've gone up dollar 99 now uh it's good i mean it's good applesauce um you know this one's got the cinnamon in it i think this is the one i got last time uh it was pretty good but again i do feel like two dollars a little much for for ollie's uh mott's is 2.99 pretty much everywhere we go anymore uh and that could have gone up i just that's the last time what i've seen they got some different little different little snacks here and stuff Different little fruit and nut cups here. $3.29 for that honeybee mix. Don't look too bad. They have coconut here. Been getting more and more comments on coconut. I am allergic to coconut, so I'm going to get away from that. I will tell you, though, if you're looking for different options just to try some new things, they seem to have a lot of products that other stores don't. This place really, when it comes to, like, food and stuff like that or snacks it kind of re reminds you of big lots you know it's kind of stuff that you don't see all the time but even different brands so if you're looking for something new you want to try something new look at this hawaiian punch cotton candy that's interesting dollar 69 eh. i don't know it's a pretty decent size bag they have a lot of different kinds of twinnings here i know a lot of people on the channel like the twinnings teas see this is a glow the nettle, strawberry, and cucumber flavored green tea. They got a detox tea right here. They got the Soothe. Supports healthy digestion. Turmeric. Yeah, okay. I got some cool stuff here. I got some kind of coffee here. What is this? Pumpkin Spice, Harry and David. Also, any of these products that we're showing on here today, let us know if you've tried them before and if you like them so that we know to pick them up and give it a shot next time. I will say I've tried the Edmunds coffee here. I did not like it at all. I thought I would. It was cheaper than that, too, the last time I was here. Uh, $4.99 for that. No, it is definitely not worth it. I, I didn't like it at all. Um, Kahlua. Never seen this one before. Huh. Non-alcoholic. Well, I don't know. What's the point of a Kahlua? If it's not alcoholic <laughs> well they used to have pet food here but i don't think they do anymore they got some like treats and stuff guys i don't know this might be a bust we may just have to check out some other things uh they it's you know it's sad they used to have all kinds of food and they would be lined up with canned goods and stuff and i'm just not seeing anything they do have the solutions best life adult dog formula here 9.99 for that Seems pretty expensive for as little as you get there. They do have some of these fancy feasts, like little savory packets. I don't know. Don't see any canned goods. That's the only dry food we see right there. Oh, they got, yeah, okay, they got this everywhere. So this is four pounds. Four pounds for $9.99 of, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, they got some different dog chew toys. This is something interesting. This is something they had last year. This is a dog uh treat like little bones and then there's some way they can pick these out of here i think or or no yeah it's like a gift like you gift it to uh someone but yeah i mean that's pretty neat uh eight dollars for that eight dollars see that's what i'm saying like ollie's has really become hit or miss on a lot of different things like that is i could find that cheaper than that somewhere uh, looks like Paula Dean came up with some dog food here. 
Debone chicken, chickpea, and apple recipe, $8.99. This is four pounds. She does have some different flavors here. It's an indoor formula, and they do have some other cat food here I didn't see before. Um, let's see, $2.59 here for three pounds. I mean, that's a good price. I've never heard of that brand before. But uh, yeah, some, something really awesome about Paula Dean. When me and Jessica were in Pigeon Forge, we ate at Paula Dean's restaurant at the island at Pigeon Forge. Uh, one of the best restaurants we've ever eaten at in Pigeon Forge. It's kind of like uh, they bring you out as much as you want. You can order like two entrees. We got the spare ribs and the roast beef, and it, it's fantastic. So if, you've, if, if you're going to Pigeon Forge or Gatlinburg area, check out Paula Dean's restaurant. It was great. Some okay cereal prices here, but as you can see here, this is all they have right here. This used to take up this whole aisle right here, and it's just completely empty. Uh, $1.99 for the peanut butter crunch. Now, we can usually find these on sale at Kroger sometimes. Wow. Dunkaroo cereal. Never seen that before. That's interesting. This is kind of why it reminds me of Big Lots. They have peanuts and almonds and just so many different types of mixed nuts and everything. I mean, it's it's almost worth a trip here just to get these. They have the Imperial Nuts here, this big can of it for $5.49. Now, these are expensive. Imperial Nuts are really expensive, and they're really good. But that's a good deal because, you know, we've seen cans half this size for $5. So you're pretty much getting double, double here. They do have the Shibo, Chibo different coffees here um 12 ounces each these are eight dollars oh no 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 3.99 for these 3.99 what is this ground coffee up to 8.49 there's 9.49 you know i feel like that's kind of like how do I, I don't know why they do that i mean i just don't see like this is 6.99 and this is about the same size as the kroger here this donut shop which we've gotten some good comments on it here the premier roast uh, this is their donut shop blend. I've never tried this. Um, we did get some good comments on it, though. And got some decaf here. Got the Chase and Sandburn here. We got some good comments on that. Let's see how much that is. $7.49. That's pretty cheap. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, they got the uh, reusable K-Cup filter sets here. $4.99 for four of them. That's pretty good. That's a really good deal. Most places, it's like $4.99 for one of these. So they have these soft peppermints here that we got some good comments on a couple times ago when we went to Family Dollar. To give you an idea, this is 325 count. For a 100 count at Family Dollar is $5. For a 325 count here is $10.99. So that's a pretty good deal there. Um, somebody, these Thin Mints, these are actually pretty decent. Uh, I know somebody, it's kind of like um, oh, the York Peppermint Patties. I like the chocolate on them, though, because they're, like, really thin. It's got that nice chocolate to peppermint patty ratio here. Um, they're pretty good. For $1.19, um, yeah, you don't get too many, but I feel like this is worth it. It's pretty delicious. I kind of feel like this was the same issue last time we were at Ollie's. The Tide is pretty much the same price as it is everywhere. However, we have not been able to find the Tide Plus Downy, and this is $4.99. The last time we saw this for this size, it's only 24 loads here for $4.99. 37 ounces. We saw it for $5.99, but we haven't seen it in a long time. And they do have the Drift here, which we've gotten some comments on. This is $10.99 for 75 ounces, 48 loads. The only other place I've seen this is Target. So, you know, it is something nice to... Uh, you know, be able to come into a store and you know they get this stuff. They uh, they had this the last time we were here, too. I see the pork rinds that I got last time went up. They were $3.99 the last time. Now they're $4.49. They always have these Turkey Creek old-fashioned pork rinds. These are good. They're really good, actually. Um, yeah, I mean, I would still get these just because they're you can't find them anywhere else. They are loaded down on the Ripa Frada. K cups here, 80 count for $21.99. It says there's $32.99. I don't know any other place that sells Ripa Frada coffee. Um, so I don't know how they compare those. Maybe they're just looking online to maybe the company, and maybe that's what if you were to order it online. I don't really know. I've tried to tried to tackle that conversation before and was never never successful. So 
Uh, let's see, they got some of the Indulgio, Indugio, Indulgio, Cappuccino and Hot Cocoa. Never tried these. Again, let us know down in the comments if you've tried any of these. Let us know which ones are good. See, like this, there's $4.49, there's $5.99. Like, I don't, what do we have to compare that? Like, I shop in every store in this city, and I've never seen any of these. It's the only place I ever see any of these coffees, including the Aspen Ridge coffee. Now, this is okay. This is the one that I've tried, and for 40 cups for $10, that's a pretty good deal. Um, yeah, not bad on this one. So I did try the Coffee House Dark Roast here. Uh, they had it in the, I believe it was like 20k cups. It's been a long time. I got it for $5 one time. Somebody recommended that I tried this and I got it like a couple days later. Don't get this coffee. This is absolutely terrible. I can't stand it. I don't know. It just does not taste good at all. Um, I mean, it's $20 for an 80 count, but if you're going to do this... Get the Aspen Donut Shop coffee over there for $9 for 40 of them because that's going to be 20 bucks there. Way better. Oh, another one that we tried too was the Twinkies coffee here. No, no, this does not work. <laughs> so this is where I used to come to get totes. However, it's actually cheaper at Target now to get them. Target is 18 gallons for $6.49. Now, it's been a while since I've checked. They may have gone up, but $6.89 here. These were $5.99. Or no, I'm sorry, $4.99 the last time we were here. So that's gone up a few bucks. That's crazy. Like, And these are the cheap, cheap as you can buy flimsy ones. That is definitely not worth 7 bucks. The ones at Target are a little more sturdy than this one. I don't want to go too deep into all the Christmas stuff because me and Jessica will be pointing a lot of this stuff out. And plus, I like to have Jess with me in the videos when we do Christmas stuff because she is the uh, best Christmas fan on earth. She loves Christmas. She loves decorating. Oh, yeah, and we got a lot of comments. People are wanting to see our decorations and stuff. We will be doing a video on all that stuff. We've done videos in the past, but we, she always does it up a little more every year. So we'll do it again. And I uh, have some fun with that. Man, look at this bell here. I did just find in the middle aisle here, they have 69 ounce things of Tide for $8.49. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, now, considering, okay, so 20, about 22 for 107 loads at Kroger. So 76, yeah. Yeah, so this is a good deal. It's a good deal. You should buy up a couple of these. This is a good reason to come to Ollie. Got the, uh, let's see, the pods here. $20 for 96 Wow, that seems like a pretty good deal. Okay. Finally found a couple decent deals here. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, a couple decent deals. I don't know about this gain here. 51 of them for eleven ninety nine. I mean, seems like the tide's way better. Um, let's see, they got the... Uh, see the bleach here is this bleach heavy duty cleaner disinfectant hmm 2.99 for that okay does it say bleach anywhere though is it bleach kills 99% of bacteria cleans without bleaching so it must not be bleach okay hey guys well, I am back from Ollie's uh, total bust total bust um, there, there was barely anything. All we found, the, the most stuff that we found there were like the peanuts, stuff like that. There were some chips and other snacks. I was there looking for some like staples, some baking goods, stuff like that. Things that are hard to find in some other stores that we've been getting a lot of comments on across the country. No sugar, no flour. Uh, they had a bunch of spices. They had some cooking oil. There was a Crisco Essentials where it's like a blend of a bunch of different cooking oils. Uh, I had seen, the only time I'd ever seen that is at Ollie's. Uh, I seem to remember getting a bunch of comments of people that didn't like that. It is a little cheaper. It's $3.99 for a 48 ounce. Uh, it's canola oil mixed with sunflower oil mixed with some other kind of oil. Um, and they did have peanut oil of the Crisco, which I meant to point out in the video, um, but yes, it's a 32 ounce peanut oil made by Crisco, which is hard to find, but I gotta say, it's not what it used to be. You know, they used to have whole aisles of stuff, and I think they're just not getting it in. Um, I only saw a couple people working there, so that could have been 
part of the problem, but I don't think so. I think they're just not getting it. Lots of empty shelves when it comes to the food stuff. Um, toys are filling up though, so if you have an Ollie's near you, I would definitely check it out if you have kids or if you're buying Christmas gifts for kids. Another thing that I didn't go over at Ollie's is the books. I love all the books. They have a lot of like history books, uh, inspirational books, comic books, graphic novels, stuff like that. But yeah, all the stuff that they normally carry, uh, a lot of the canned meats and stuff like that, which I wanted to show people, a lot of shelf-stable items they didn't have, uh, completely wiped out. Um, it, Ollie's is good for a lot of other things. Um, I, I feel like, in a way, it's kind of like Big Lots, but I feel like they have a lot more stuff. But you get into like some of the auto stuff, like the automobile stuff, and cooking cookware and stuff like that it's, a lot of those prices aren't that cheap a and you really got to do your research because sometimes we can find that kind of stuff cheaper at other places well guys thank you so much for watching the video today i hope you enjoyed it happy halloween with all that being said i am out and always remember the adventure is out there